Hi, guys. Uh, question for Jeff. Jeff, um, in all the time that you've been around Shea Weber, what have you learned most from him? And what is the, what is the opportunity to you represent to give him a chance to win a Stanley Cup? Yeah, I mean, I think from day one, he's, he's stepped in and been a leader for this team. And um, obviously, he's, he's been around the league for a long time. So um, obviously, we want to win for everybody in our room, everybody in the organization. But for guys, um, you know, especially like him, Stalzy, um, you know, Pears, um, Kreiser, those are all guys that have been around for a long time. And those last, last two I mentioned, uh, you know, the first time um, being in this position. So, um, you know, obviously we want to do it for, for those guys, but, uh, you know, obviously everyone in the room. Matt Larkin. Hey guys, this question is for Jeff. Uh, Jeff, when you look at different goaltenders you've played in front of in your career and you look at Carey Price specifically and his body language, his calm and net, I'm curious, as a defenseman, how impactful is that on you when you see the guy behind you who's that calm and sort of efficient in his movements throughout a game? Yeah, I mean, I think that goes, that goes a long way. Um, you know, whether it's uh, you're up in the game, down in the game, um, you know, he's, he's always calm and collected and like you said he's his movements are um you know they they seem effortless and you know he doesn't get rattled in the in the net which is it, it sends a calming uh present or his calming presence sends a sends a message to our whole team um you know whether it's uh you know a tough stretch in the game and uh you know he's back there he's making the saves making them look effortless it's it goes a long way and it, uh, you know, knowing you have a guy like that behind you is, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, something special. Greg Wyshynski. Apologies to Philip. This is for Jeff. Um, I was wondering about uh, when you defend a player like Braden Point, he's, he's got such a knack for stick handling in tight spots. Um, do you have to change your approach when someone has that type of ability to kind of maneuver through traffic like that? Uh, no, I mean, I think obviously he's a highly skilled player, um, you know, and I think, uh, you know, every team that we've, we've faced has, has got a player very similar to that. So um, we don't have to change our game, but uh, obviously you have to know when he's on the ice and, uh, uh, you know, make it difficult for him, whether that's, uh, you know, taking away his, his time and space or being physical on him. And um, like I said, we've, we've faced uh, players with the, uh, that ability before. And so I don't think it's, uh, you know, it changes a big, uh, changes anything on our, uh, our mental approach. Jean-Francois Chaumont. Salut, question pour, pour Philippe. Philippe, je peux imaginer que jouer une finale de la Coupe Stanley, c'est déjà un événement là, très particulier, mais de l'autre côté, tu retrouves Yannick Gourde. Je sais qu'il n'y a pas d'amis en, en séries éliminatoires, mais tu as quand même joué trois ans avec Yannick à Victoriaville. À quel point c'est une situation qui est, qui est spéciale pour toi et Yanni? Oui, c'est sûr, c'est une situation extrêmement spéciale. Je pense que ça demande euh, le caractère des deux côtés. On est deux euh, gars qui veulent gagner énormément. Puis euh, euh, ça va être une série excitante, mais comme tu as dit, il n'y a pas d'amis, on le sait. Puis ce que ça glace, reste à glace. Luc Jalena. Merci, Sam. Good morning, guys. Phil. Um... On parle beaucoup des vétérans qui veulent gagner, mais tu ne veux pas moins gagner qu'eux autres. Est-ce que ça se décrit tu sais, dans une coupe d'heure, tu vas être dans l'avion, tu t'en vas à Tempo, vous avez une chance de gagner la coupe. Est-ce que ça, ça peut se mettre en mots à quel point tu peux être craqué au moment où on se parle? Ça se met difficilement en mots, honnêtement. C'est, euh, <coughs> gagner, c'est, c'est tout, complètement tout. Puis euh, c'est, ça va être spécial vraiment de faire partie de la finale de la Coupe Stanley. Stu Cowan. A uh, question for Phil. Phil, you know, I left the Bell Center around one o'clock the other night. There were still hundreds, if not thousands, of fans waiting for you guys where you come out of the garage. I'm just wondering what the fan reception has meant to you guys, and and do you have a favorite memory yourself from you were a kid as a Canadians fan? No, I think it's uh, as a Canadian fan, uh, it's my best memories for sure. You know, living it too as well. Uh, being part of those big moments is uh, definitely something very special. And also, our fans is, are fantastic. They're giving us a lot of energy uh, after that game six uh, outside. Uh, uh, obviously, give us a lot of energy for the final, and uh, we want to come back here. We want to win again. Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be awesome.
Arpin Basu. Uh, good morning, guys. I also have a question for Phil. Salut, Philippe. Um, Jeff a été demandé tantôt sur, uh, sur Braden Point, mais c'est sûrement toi qui vas l'affronter uh, pas mal pendant cette série-là. Qu'est-ce que tu vois quand tu regardes Point? Qu'est-ce qu'il rend aussi efficace et qu'est-ce qu'il rend unique comme, comme joueur offensif à tes yeux? Ben, beaucoup de rapidité. Euh, il est bon dans euh, euh, les Tyleria sur la glace. Euh, il se crée de l'espace. Un petit joueur qui se crée beaucoup d'espace. Euh, mais écoute, les Matthews et Marner, euh, les Shifley de ce monde, euh, Healer, Wheeler, tous ces joueurs-là sont similaires, euh, extrêmement bons avec la rondelle. Donc, euh, ça va être un joueur à surveiller de plus. Puis, euh, je pense que ce pas juste ce point, je pense que c'est la ligne au complet avec Kucherov. Donc, euh, c'est une ligne extrêmement dure à contrer. Mike Zeisberger. Jeff, I just um, wanted to ask you, talking to your dad this week, um, he talked about the last time you guys were in Tampa, the four of you, uh, I believe it was uh, yourself, Gallagher, uh, Shea, and Kerry. Uh, went to Lakeland to take some batting practice and your dad was noticing just the chemistry that you four guys have and, and, and how much of a leadership group they are. Uh, what do you remember about that? And, and can you talk a little bit about your, your bond with those three guys and, and, and what it means? Yeah. I mean, it was, yeah, it was a group uh, that went down there. We had the day off and it was, you know, it was great to just uh, kind of step away from, Um, from hockey for a day and, and, and to experience that. And, um, you know, I think the, you know, Shea, Pricer, um, Galley are obviously huge parts of this team. And it's obviously only, not only, um, you know, what they do on the ice. Um, you, you look at those guys, um, you know, their leadership in the room um, is special. And you see, you see the way they perform on the ice. And it's, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, everybody sees how hard they work and, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to, um, you know, get behind those guys, feed off of their energy, feed off of their work ethic. And, you know, I think those, those three guys really bring, um, you know, this group together. Jonathan Bernier. Merci, Sam. La question pour Phil. Euh, écoute, vous êtes parfait, je pense, en, dans le dernier mois, des avantages numériques, le 30, 30 en 30. Euh, eux autres, le Lightning, on a une très forte euh, production en supériorité numérique. Euh, de, de quelle façon vous voyez le, le, le défi? C'est-tu bon? Il va falloir faire plus attention à, justement à jouer, pour jouer à 5 contre 5 ou euh, nous on est capable de faire la job. Ça va être à eux de, 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 de relever le défi de nous battre à, en infériorité numérique. Euh, non, je pense euh, éviter les pénalités, ça fait toujours partie de notre plan de match euh, le moins possible. Euh, C'est sûr qu'en 5 contre 5, on, on est une très bonne équipe de hockey. Donc, <coughs> Je ne sais pas, ça, ça a cliqué les derniers mois, puis on veut construire de la même façon. On travaille bien en équipe, en piqué. Euh, Price est solide, il nous fait des gros arrêts, euh, des, des arrêts clés. Donc, euh, c'est vraiment en unité qu'on qu réussit à faire des ravages. Take two more for Phil and Jeff. Richard Labbé. Oui, salut Philippe. Euh, je voulais te demander par rapport un petit peu à ça. Il y a, il y a eu. Euh, une recette pour vous autres depuis le début de l'année, euh, des séries en tout cas, c'est de neutraliser les meilleurs moments, les meilleurs éléments, pardon, de l'autre équipe. Euh, c'est quelque chose que vous avez toujours fait. Euh, J'imagine que pour toi, c'est non seulement c'est un, un élément de fierté, mais est-ce que tu vois aussi un, ça aussi comme étant quelque chose d'important euh, dans la série qui s'en vient de neutraliser leurs meilleurs éléments à eux? Absolument. Je ne sais pas si ça va être euh, quoi les match-up exactement, mais je pense qu'on a quatre bonnes lignes qui sont capables de de shutdown, euh, puis de jouer le, le bon jeu défensif euh, du Canadien en ce moment. Puis, euh, c'est ça. Écoute, quatre lignes qui peuvent jouer défensivement, tout le monde peut shutdown, donc euh, peu importe contre qui on joue, on va être prêt. Puis oui, c'est sûr que c'est un énorme défi euh, qu'on ne t'aime pas de, de, de shutdown leur gros canon. Là. We'll take the last question from Matt Larkin. <laughs> Uh, Philip, this one is for you. Uh, I'm just curious in terms of what you've seen from a fellow center in, in Nick Suzuki and just what makes him kind of mature beyond his years. It seems like he just keeps getting better as the playoffs go. Yeah, I think his, uh, the biggest strength of Suz is his uh, compete level. Uh, yes, he's got the skill and everything, but I think your talent 
is uh, shining when you work hard and uh, he competes really hard. He's got a good stick. He's a good two way. So um, really impressed myself by Seuss. And uh, since day one, he's here. Uh, I've been impressed every day. He's getting better. He's got a good attitude. So uh, it's a very important player for us. Thanks for your time, guys. Merci beaucoup. Thank you.